What is going on guys, it's Castle Gamer here and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. In today's video I'm going to be covering everything that has got released in patch 229 or 229, however you wish to call it. So first up is the new creature that's been added to the game, its name, the Procoptodon. This mammal resembles a prehistoric kangaroo. In the wild they are peaceful until attacked but it will fiercely beat you to death and there is no escape. No hope, only pain. It is a very unique animal in the fact that it has a pouch. This allows it to transport two people. This is the first creature in the game which is able to do this. It also has the highest jump out of all other creatures. It does have a use for tribe members. Its inventory capacity is remarkable for its size. This makes it a great mobile storage. It also is a great war mount due to its ability to carry a person in its pouch. This person is able to use weapons such as pikes, assault rifles, and if you're feeling brave, a rocket launcher. All in all, I think this is a unique and very needed addition to the game. A new event is being added in the latest patch. This is the ARC Happy First Half Year event. Starting today, December the 31st, at 12pm EST, a gigantic New Year's Eve ball will descend from the heavens through to January 1st at midnight EST. When it finally hits the ground, a fantastic surprise will be revealed for all survivors who are on their arc at the time. Okay, so up next is Tribe Alliances. This is something I've wanted and needed for a very long time. This will finally allow you to pair up with other tribes in a massive war and be able to identify who's on your side and who's not. Previously you'd end up attacking your allies and it would result in a huge fallout. However, with this new feature being added, that will no longer be a problem. Tribe Alliances will be added to PvP and PvE servers, so all in all it's going to be a great feature for everyone to use. Next up, they have improved the save game, save and load times. This is something a lot of people have needed, as it does take a long time for you to save and load your games. When loading into a single player world, it does take a good 20 seconds just to launch into the world and load everything that you previously did, and the same to save it and quit it. This hopefully has been improved in the latest patch and we're all excited for this. All current items are now on the Master Items ID Array. This means that every item in the game has its unique ID which will allow you to spawn in items a lot easier in cheat mode whilst on single player. There has also been some tamed dino balance adjustments. In terms of this they are just balancing and adjusting dino stats and abilities to make it a fair fight for everyone. This makes sure that nobody has an advantage over anyone else and that the dinos are going to be fairly balanced amongst each other. There has also been some tweaks to the current Winter Wonderland update. It has been warmed up by 25%. This makes it a lot easier for the newcomers who have just recently bought the game on the winter sales to survive as you will not freeze to death the second you join into the game. They have also tweaked the inventory on the smithy. They have added an extra 15 slots to the smithy which is great news. You'll now be able to store a lot more stuff when crafting things and repairing tools which is going to help you overall. Last but not least, they have fixed map extensions. Mods like the Pandora Isles that extended the Ark Island has finally been fixed on Linux servers. Alright guys, I believe I have covered everything on the patch notes, however it does say more notes to come. This is either going to change things, add things to list or remove things. I honestly don't know what's going to be coming next after this, maybe this is just it, I'm not too sure. But I just want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you in any way, shape or form, please don't hesitate to leave a like. It really does show your support and I really do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel and you wish to see more content like this, then feel free to subscribe. Subscribe and will allow you to get notifications from the channel every time I upload. And guys, I just want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.